Hi everybody, welcome back to Cat's Book Nook. Today is February 11th and it's Sunday, so... Weekly wrap-up video. Yay! My hair is always doing its own thing, so I'm not even worried about it today. Um, this is going to wrap up the last two weeks because I didn't do a weekly wrap-up video last week. Uh, there's no real good reason for it. I got into a bit of a reading slump. I finished The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks and immediately tried to start in, in on another book. And I couldn't. Um, it happens. There, there are times and there's books that once it's over, I don't want to pick anything else up. I just want to get let my mind go wherever it wants to go for a few days and then I'll pick something else up. So that was last week. This week, I've been kind of getting ready for California. And... So I downloaded a whole bunch of audiobooks, Kindle Unlimited audiobooks, Audible audiobooks, Overdrive. I am packed to the max with audiobooks, so I should be able to hopefully get through several of them on the way there, which I leave Wednesday. So my weekly, weekly wrap-up video will not be, next week will not have my bookcases in the background. I'm a little bit scared, but excited. Because it's a new adventure. So, let me stop rambling and tell you guys what I got through last week. So, and then tell you guys what I got through this week. So, last week, I'm going to see if my phone will cooperate with the photos. Last week, I got through do, 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 do. Mouse by Art Spiegelman. This was in my January monthly wrap up video. Uh, also finished 13 Little Blue Envelopes last week. I hated. I, I can't even say hated, but I really disliked this book. I may or may not pick up the second one in this, in the duology. It just takes a 17 year old, and I think I vented about this in my January wrap up video. So if you guys haven't seen that, sorry. If you guys have seen that, sorry for the repeat. But it was just, it was, why would you send a 17-year-old to Europe? Of all places, I can believe it if it was like an 18, 19-year-old. But you're sending a 17-year-old all around Europe after you're dead because you think she needs an adventure. And you want to send her on it. Okay. Fine. Cute story. Just... Yeah, anyway, and then, of course, I finished The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks uh, via audiobook. Uh, there was, this has been made into an HBO movie. There were several articles about, and I didn't know this, but Oprah Winfrey plays Deborah, who is Henrietta's daughter, in the, who, in the story is the person that Rebecca is working with the most to get the information that she needs for the, for the, I'm going to call it an autobiography. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but it, a biography. We'll go biography on that one. Because it was, it was a really good story, but it left me not wanting to read anything. So, um, the new books that week that I picked up was Aristotle and Dante. Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This is supposed to be my February Hooked on Books Pick It For Me challenge book. So hopefully I can get through this soon. I am going to take the library books that I haven't finished with me to California and then ship them back um, via U UPS. So that way I can finish the books out there but still finish the books. And then that, that leads us to this past week. So... This week, I got through Written in Red, because I had to start it. I tried reading Uprooted. I did. I really did. And I'm like halfway through it. I will pick it back up, but it's... And I could not for the life of me get into the story. I'm like, I want to read, but I don't know what I want to read. So I picked up Written in Red because I've been thinking about it for a while. I got through Written in Red. Murder of Crows, which is the third, second book in that series, and Vision of Silver, which is the third book in that series. There are currently five books, and the sixth book is coming out next month. 
But the first five focus on Megan Simon. The next book focuses on other people. But I got through those three this week. And then I got through... Knit One, Girl Two by Shira Glassman. Super cute. Very short. Super cute. Then I got through Playing for Keeps by Merle Lafferty uh, via Podbean because it was a podcast that a book that was done in podcast form really cute kind of liked it kind of interesting actually um basically it's what if a third wave hero there there were three waves of heroes the first wave was like the super superheroes the second wave i actually think was the villains and then the third wave heroes were the ones that had powers that weren't really spectacular like first wave was superman second wave was more of a minor i, I kind of want to say like green arrow wish who's not really like super super but is still super in his own way so it kind of follows that and then wave three has to save the world it was it was good i liked it um and then i finished the invisible city invisible city book uh, the first book in the Rebecca Roberts series by Julia Dahl. It was good. It it kept my kept me interested. It's basically about this female reporter who is Jewish, who ends up kind of she ends up following and writing about a Jewish like extreme Jewish woman that dies or is killed and left for dead in a Jewish um Jewish owned junkyard shipyard one of those two um but it follows her and her introduction back into the community that her mother is from in Brooklyn and then what actually ends up happening you kind of realize what happens once you find out a little bit more about one of the other characters in the story and it's like oh okay that's why so i liked it i will probably pick up book two if they have it on overdrive if they don't i may or may not pick it up at the library we'll see but those are the books that i got through this week um currently reading like i said i'm currently reading uprooted by naomi novak I hopefully will finish this this week. I don't have that that far to go. I'm like right here. So all of this is left. Um, Marked in Flesh, which is the fourth book in the other series by Ann Bishop. Got that much left to go. So this side. Um, and then I have, I have the fifth book, Etched in Bone on my to be art to be read shelf sometime this week so there's that and then i am currently listening to silverborn by patricia briggs which there we go about three hours left in this one so i can finish this up fairly quickly at work tomorrow so there's that um new books this week i got a lot of new audiobooks so I got The Witch of Pain and Sorrows by M.J. Rose. Don't remember what this book is about, but it's on my Goodreads to be read shelf. Full Moon, instead of Full Moon. Full Moon by Jim Butcher. It's the second book in the Dresden Piles. Then I got the entire Paper Magician series by Charlie in Holmberg on Kindle Unlimited Audio. Then Still House Lake by Rachel Kane. This was also Kindle Unlimited. Coming Clean. I can't really see the cover on that one, but Coming Clean by Kimberly Ray Miller. Also Kindle Unlimited audiobook. I did not know that that one was on audiobook, but glad I found it. So there's those. Um, also have The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I want to say no. Alice Usman is the one that did Radio Silence, not Alice Siebold. And then Lariel by Garth Nix. It's the second book in the 
Sabriel series. So, got those to listen to. I end up ended up returning A God in Ruins by Kate Atkinson. And then The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. Okay, so Glass Castle. I haven't seen the movie yet. But the book is basically, it starts off. She's in New York. Her mother is visiting. And she has walked past her parents multiple times. Hoping that they do not jump out and say, Hey, there you are. I've been looking for you. How are you doing? You know, can you help me out? So, I started listening to it while I was on my way back from West Virginia. Which is how long I was supposed to have that book. Or how long I had had that book. And I didn't finish it. I didn't even touch it after I got back. Because it reminded me way too much of... Uh, of a past event that I dealt with with my dad and it guilt I already have a whole lot of guilt I don't need any more so there's that um so I returned those two books in the past couple weeks and that let me pick up Silverborn Full Moon and Devil in the White City in the last couple of days I was not expecting Devil in the White City to pop up. Sorry, also new book this week. Um, I have tried this. This is how far I got the last time I tried it. I can tell by the postcard that's in here. It's like, yeah, postcard. <laughs> I need to start doing those again. Um, but yeah, so those are my, this is my weekly wrap-up video. If you have read any of the books, let me know. If you haven't or and are interested in knowing more about the books, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll list the books in the description box below so you guys can follow along with my rambling. So with that, um, I'm back from California, ready to go. Uh, will not be checking in on Wednesday or Thursday this week, which I haven't been doing anyway. So there's that anyway. Um, hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you guys on Sunday. Bye.